That's a good fish. Awesome. What is going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fish and Grubs. We're out here today to do a little catch and cook. We've been fishing all morning with Greg. He just left and now we're starting a new episode. In this episode, we're gonna do a catch and cook. This crappie is definitely big enough to take home. We're gonna hope for maybe like five more uh, crappie and or bluegill and or perch, if there's any in the area. And uh, we're gonna do ourselves a little catch and cook. So stay tuned, let's get them. another keeper another keeper crappie awesome nice fat gill keeping them keeping them I'll be my first bluegill awesome Nice size crappie. Another keeper. Another freaking keeper. My first hole. This is two episodes out of one freaking hole. Can't even freaking believe it right now. Perfect size eater crappie. You know, they're not too big. They're not like the big mamas. You don't want to take those breeders out of here. You want to be able to keep coming back for more of these things. Catching them all gosh darn day. Whew. All right. Oh, and that's it. That's a small one. Oh, Gil. Sammy.
Well, I just got my first perch of the winter. That's something little. Another perch. Where's your mom? Y'all? What is it? Yes! Woo! Hunter! Yeah, baby! That is awesome, dude! It was like a thick black line. I was like, it had to, it has to be like two of them. You got him right in the snoot, bro. Right in the snoot, Hunter. 19 blue. <laughs> what, really? Yeah. He hammered it. Yeah, dude. Catch of the day right there. Got him. Little guy. We should fucking throw this thing on a gosh darn tip up. Peace, bud. Nice. Crappie. Come on. Oh, we got a fish. Good fish. Nice, that's a keeper. Sweet. Yep. Look at that, double arm. <laughs> awesome. There you go. Sweet. Seems like it warmed up a little bit. I think I was going just close. Go back down there, little bitch. There's a whole pack of them now. Good old gilly gills. Just hammering them today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that sums up the catching part of the catch and cook. I'm gonna be out here for just a little bit longer and I'm gonna be trying to, you know, get just a few more fish just for fun. After I leave here, I'm gonna be going to the store and getting some stuff to cook up the fish that we caught. We have eight fish in total, one of them being my first ever bluegill that I'm gonna cook up. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. But also, uh, after we're done filming the catch and cook and the catching, of the cook. I'm actually gonna be doing a quick review on this here Hummingbird Helix 7 G3N. Um, I'm really, really, really pumped about this fish finder as you guys have seen today. And uh, so we're gonna do just a quick review about it. And um, obviously towards the end of the season, we'll talk a little bit more about it. And then as soon as open water hits, we're gonna be strapping this baby up to the kayak, showing you how to strap it up to the kayak. And, uh, taking that out for a spin and doing a little review on that but for the time being we are pumped on this freaking little fish finder that has done all the work today this thing is a workhorse and we've been out here way longer than four hours we dimmed it down just like we were told to and uh it's lasted the whole day we'll see you back at the house for the cook part of the catch and cook all right ladies and gentlemen we are back at the house and ready to fry up these fish. So let's get started here. First, we have all the fish here in the bucket, still on ice. So we're gonna wanna get rid of all that ice, take some of these fish out, give them a quick rinse.
All right, that's the pile of fish we got. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take all these fish, now that we've rinsed them off, we're gonna dry them off with paper towels, lay them out one at a time, and fillet them up. Once we get all of our fillets, we'll move on to the next step. So part one, fillet the fish. This here is gonna be my first ever bluegill that I'm eating. Do him and fillet this guy up. So we're gonna fillet a bluegill on a crappie, and then we'll do the rest uh, not on film. First thing you're gonna wanna do is dry these bad boys off because they are slimy. Take your fillet knife, come in right behind the ear. Down, cut down top of the spine. Oops, Didn't miss a bunch of meat doing that. Cold water to put the fillets in when you're done. Bad boy right up there. Nice boneless fillet. Yep, boneless. <laughs> I'm gonna come in and do the same thing on the other side. Feel for ribs, don't have any. There she is. The bluegill fillets. Awesome. We're gonna do the same thing to the crappie. It's 
slip, right? that let's get the rest of them done all right folks now that we have all of our fillets we're gonna rinse them thoroughly cold water feel for bones as we do it pick them out if there is any and we'll lay them on the paper towel. All right, so on these paper towels, I'm just drying every piece. That's it. All of our fillets hanging. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to set up an egg wash. So, let's take a couple eggs. Crack them. One, two, three. So we get our eggs, minus some shell. We're gonna put a touch of milk in here. Just a touch. And we're gonna season the egg wash with just a little bit of this Greek seasoning. This stuff is amazing, folks. So we got our Greek seasoning, three eggs, a little bit of milk. I'm gonna whisk this baby up here. Now that our egg wash is done, we're gonna take Ruffles loaded bacon and cheddar potato chips, mix it with some panko breadcrumbs and a little bit more of that Greek seasoning. And we're gonna put that all in this here bag. Before we do that, we're gonna take the canola oil here, set this to medium heat. We're gonna pour enough in here to fry that fish up. Good. We're gonna take a bunch of these chips, toss them right in there, right in the bag. Chips are in, no breadcrumbs, just the chips. Get some of the air out of the bag. We're gonna smash these things. Get the 
grind them up into a freaking powder, folks. Take our panko breadcrumbs here. Put these babies right into the mix. Take our Greek seasoning. Put a good amount of that in there as well. That should be good and ready for the fish. So now we're going to take each of these fillets, put them in the egg wash, put them in the bag. Make sure you get as much of the like drippy stuff off before you put it in the bag as possible because that'll clump right up. So go ahead and throw a bunch in there. Screw it, throw all of it in there and then pull them out individually. Making sure that you get most of the egg wash out. We'll just do it. Oh, we missed. Don't move that bad, Larry. That's it. We're gonna take the bag. Not seal it. Blow that bad boy up. Shake and bake. Shake and bake. After the shake and bake, we're gonna pull these pieces out. So when you're going for the double batter, you're just gonna really give it a quick dunk. Oh, oh. Toss them right back in the bag. Quick dunk. These are all, all now double battered. The batter's on there way more, way thicker, because we dipped it back in the egg and then back in this mix. Now we're ready for frying. All right guys, so I've turned this down to four. This thing's ready to rock. We have our fish here, and I'm cooking some really awesome potatoes that are I can't even begin to describe to you how good they are, even though they're in the microwave. Um, so once the potatoes are done, we're gonna start the fish, because the fish takes like two seconds. Potatoes are done up in there, we're giving them a minute, and we're gonna fry these fish up. Well, by the time the fish are done frying, the potatoes will be done cooling off and finishing cooking. Uh, we'll slap some butter, the seasoning pack on the potatoes. We got some stubs, we got my bubbles, and uh, these fish are gonna be freaking delicious, folks. So, let's do this. All right, one at a time. It will not take long to cook. At all. I actually have to turn down the heat a little bit more. Looks like these are frying up real fast. Mm. Oh man, that's good. That's real good. Mm. Wow. Take out these potatoes. 
potatoes. Mix in some butter. This looks amazing. Mm. Wow. Ruffles loaded baked potato chips with cheddar, panko breadcrumbs, Greek seasoning. Fresh, fresh, fresh crappie. One good better than that. I'm going to sit down and chow. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Fish and Grubs. If you wanna do this yourself, I showed you how to do it. Go out and do it. Let me know how it came out. I think it came out freaking perfect. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.